Now we'll fill in the bottom. I'll add a little bit more black. Then we'll shadow the ghost. There we go. All right, now we're going to work on her hat. We'll use red for the band. And now we'll use some black and we'll fill in her buckle. We'll get some blue and some black together and we'll create the shadow of the rim of the hat. we we'll get that all filled in. Now that we've got the shadow in, we'll add some white to some blue, and then we'll work on the rest of the hat. We'll get that filled in there, add a little more light along the edge, a little darker blue. We're shadowing and mixing the blue as we go. A little bit of light on the top, where the light is going to reflect on the edge and then bring it over. We'll make the wrinkles into her hat. Now we'll lighten it up some more, make it stand out. Lighten up the top. The light is reflecting on that one side, and we'll bring it over to where it's wrinkling over. We'll add a little, little bit of light within the buckle. We'll add more white and do some more highlights and bring out the wrinkles a little bit more. We'll add white and blue together and we'll make the rim of her hat. There we go. Now we'll kind of lighten it underneath a little bit, just slightly, because there's some light there on the bottom that's reflecting towards the top, and we'll lighten the rim a little bit more in certain spots, not a continuous line, but in like a broken up line. We want to add a little bit of reflected light on the shadowed part of her hat. 
on the edge and then lighten up some of that red for her hat and kind of outline it. We're going to do the background. We're going to take yellow, white, and black. And your yellow and your black make green. So we'll have this nice little pretty golden white yellow green background. It'll look really cool. Now we're going to use our fan brush. And we're going to fluff up her fur. Make it real looking. Fan brush works really good for fur. Isn't that nice? We we'll create the fine detail of the fur using our fan brush. We'll kind of darken that bottom just a little bit. All right. A few highlights here and there. Last finishing touches. And guess what? We're finished. Ta-da! All right, now what we have to do is sign our work. And when you're through signing your painting, then we'll paint the edges of the canvas. That'll give it a finished look. There she is. There's Penny as Witchy Poo. Well, that's how you paint an animal portrait in acrylic. You have a great day. Bye. See you next time.